I'm on London South Bank next to Waterloo Bridge. I'm about to take a walk over the bridge, down Fleet Street, into the City of London, to St Paul's Cathedral. The current Portland Stone Bridge, which has been in use since 1945, was designed by Sir Giles Gilbert Scott, the architect responsible for designing the iconic red telephone boxes and remodelling of Battersea Power Station. The views of London from the bridge are widely held to be the finest from any spot at ground level. Westminster, the South Bank and the London Eye to the west and the City of London and Canary Wharf to the east. Where Westminster Bridge meets the Strand is Somerset House, a spectacular neoclassical building. During the summer months, 55 fountains dance in the courtyard, and in the winter, there is ice skating. Somerset House also hosts open air concerts and films, contemporary art, and design exhibitions. The building was designed by Sir William Chambers in 1776 and was at one time a royal residence. The first church we come to on the Strand is St Mary Le Strand, the first of what are known as the two island churches. The second is St Clement Danes. This Anglican church is said to have been founded by the Danes in the 9th century. The current building was completed in 1682 by Sir Christopher Wren. Wren's building was gutted during the Blitz and not restored until 1958 when it was adapted to its current function as the central church of the Royal Air Force. The church is sometimes claimed to be the one featured in the nursery rhyme Oranges and Lemons and the bells do indeed play that tune at 9am, noon, 3pm and 6pm. Now immediately to the rear of St Clement Danes and just before the City of London starts are the Royal Courts of Justice. And just across the road, stop for a cuppa in the Twinings Tea Shop. It's been here since 1706. And this is Temple Bar, where the City of London meets the City of Westminster at Fleet Street. There are many old pubs and old alleyways in Fleet Street. The old Cheshire Cheese was rebuilt in 1667 after it was gutted in the Great Fire of London. The literary figures Oliver Goldsmith, Mark Twain, Alfred Tennyson, Sir Arthur Kernan Doyle and Dr Johnson are said to have been regulars. Fleet Street was once the centre of the newspaper industry and many famous former newspaper offices still stand. This is the Daily Telegraph building. 
and this is the Daily Express. St Bride's Church is the spiritual church of the media and rose from the ashes of the former church destroyed in the Great Fire. It was rebuilt under the direction of Sir Christopher Wren. Ludgate Circus is at the end of Fleet Street and a short walk from here is the Central Criminal Court, the Old Bailey and the world-famous Scales of Justice. It's situated next to what used to be the notorious Newgate Prison. The Crown Court, sitting at the Central Criminal Court, deals with major criminal cases from Greater London and, in exceptional cases, from other parts of England and Wales. St Paul's Cathedral is at the top of Ludgate Hill, the highest point in the City of London. It was consecrated in 1708 and was designed by Sir Christopher Wren. It's the seat of the Bishop of London. It can be a bit expensive to get inside St Paul's Cathedral, but it is cheaper if you book online in advance. It's free to get into the Central Criminal Court and free to get into the Law Courts as well. St Clement Danes is also free. Hope you enjoyed our walk and I'll see you next time.